get cartooning with your pick and mix cartoon workshops online at your library. In this first workshop, Jazz will help you explore your own cartooning style. Hey guys, my name is Jazz. I'm here with the Grafton Regional Library today doing a workshop. Um, what I think we're going to talk about today is kind of illustration, cartoons, comics, things like that. Um, now I myself am an artist um, and I would also consider myself an illustrator. Um, and so within that there's a lot of um, scope as to what to do, to draw, to paint, to um, pencil, and what kind of stuff that you're going to do. Um, so I want to kind of maybe today look at what I do as an illustrator and then play with that with other people's works and other ideas. So today we're going to look at four different illustration styles. The first one being me, my own style. Um, I draw a lot of dingoes and that's what I think we're going to do with this. And we're going to keep it um, something consistent through it all. And so we're going to choose a topic of the dingo doing something, but it's going to be a dingo in each style. The first style that isn't mine, I thought we'd look at the really, something completely different to what my style is, which is quite simple line drawing. Um, and do kind of that hyper-realistic superhero kind of style. So think like um, your Spider-Man, your Batman, um, Umbrella Academy, those kind of things. Um, then I thought we'd play something a bit classic with Fort Rock Flats. So play with a single cell, um, quite a clear reason for the comic to exist, something funny probably, something punchy. Um, and a lot of movement kind of in there, just in one little little image. And then our fourth, I thought we would play with, is something really poppy and fun and bouncy of SpongeBob SquarePants. So some, something like that, bright colors, um, really different shapes of, of things. Yeah, play with stretching the dingo out in that kind of a thing. Okay, so the things I'm gonna use today is paper. Now. Paper has two sides, just reuse what you got. Posca pen, different shapes and sizes. Lead pencil, some colouring in pencils, and a couple of textures. I think you should definitely grab a piece of paper and draw along. Think about a character that you would like to draw, as I draw my character of the dingo, and then just have some fun. It doesn't matter if you draw what I'm drawing or if you're drawing something different. Alrighty, so we are going to do what's going to be constant in four ways to, that's a little joke there, draw A dingo, and then I think we should do four ways to draw a dingo surfing. All right. Start with the basics. How to draw a dingo. Now, I love seeing people having a go and drawing my dingo, so I'd love it if you felt like having a go too. So, there's a few different ways you can draw it however way you want, but this is probably how I'd start. I do a triangle for the nose. So I'm gonna draw that triangle like that and maybe I draw my nose straight away so I know exactly what that is that I'm drawing. I'm then gonna draw my triangle and I'm gonna bring a line down here for the start of the neck. Then I'm gonna draw a flat line across the top for the top of the head. Then I'm gonna Join the neck down to the bottom. So then all I've got left with the shape is the ears. So I drew two lines. And 
and then I draw a circle, half circle on each side. So then I'm going to start to do the facial expression of the dingo. So I like to add a little bit of detail and put three little bits on the dingo's muzzle, kind of representing fur. Oop, doesn't matter if you do stuff like that. You should just draw the nose over the top. Now, your dingo, there's three main eyes that I like to draw. Closed, which is just a little half circle. Open, which is like a football. And the big cross, which could mean lots of stuff. Could mean a bit dead, but I think it could mean totally stoked out too. And so the last thing you can do is whatever the darn, you darn well want, your dingo could be thinking or doing anything. And make sure you chuck some lines in there too. To tell us exactly what it's thinking. How to draw a dingo. Let's have a go at that big, hey? Get a big fat marker. Let's have a play with a bit of the body, maybe. So the way I draw the dingo's body is I want to play with it doing something. So if we're going to play with the dingo surfing, probably bring an arm down, bring the body down, some feet, another foot. And we want to have a tail in there somewhere. So I'll probably put the tail out the back here. Bring this arm around. Chuck that surfboard in there. Chuck the other half of the arm there. Now I think this dingo's in a wetsuit. So I'm going to Go like this. Fill her in real quick. Swap to my smaller pen. Put some little effects. We might even do a little leg rope here. Let's do something in the background. Why don't we draw some waves coming in, rolling in, nice set from behind, some sand, and then Maybe a little, the coast over here with some trees. Some more sand. A nice sun. With some clouds. Surfing Dingo. If you enjoyed that workshop, why not join Jazz for another at Clarence Regional Library YouTube?